Hey business warriors, Business Shifu here and welcome to this Basics of Investing video and we are going to be talking about the rule of 72. Okay, you may have heard of this, you may not, but what it is basically it is a technique of estimating how long it will take to double your money in a given investment if you know the interest rate, okay? So the actual equation for working this out, it's quite complicated, it's a little bit too complicated to do on the spot, you need a bit of paper and a calculator, etc. So the rule of 72 kind of stands in for that and it gives you an easy way of working it out. Now this is dealing with compound interest, okay? Not simple interest. I'll just explain very briefly the difference. Compound interest, let's say for example, you put $100 into a savings account with a 3% interest rate. At the end of the year, you'll have $103. Then the following year, um, you're gonna be earning a 3% interest rate on that 103, not just on the 100, okay? So it kind of goes up like this exponentially. Uh, simple interest would be that you put $100 into that account, you earn 3%, so you get $3 at the end of the year, and then you take that $3 out and buy an ice cream, and uh, you the second year you just earn $100 again. So the interest always gets taken out or just put to the side, and you only earn interest on the principal, okay? So compound interest is earning interest on the interest, all right? So when you look at an investment, um, the way the rule of 72 works is if you know the interest rate, you can basically just divide the number 72 by the interest rate and that will give you the number of years it will take to actually double your money. So I'm just gonna do a few of these to illustrate the point. Let's get out the calculator. I'm not doing these in my head. Uh, okay, so let's look at a 5% interest rate, shall we? So 72 divided by five equals 14.4. So at a 5% interest rate, it will take you 14.4 years to double your money. And this works no, regardless of how much money you have. You do not need to know the amount of money for this equation, okay? Let's go for 7% because that's what people say generally the S&P 500 gives you a 7% return. So 72 divided by seven, it would take you 10.2 years to double your money at a 7% return, all right? Let's now go um, up to 8%, okay? So 72 divided by eight equals nine. At an 8% interest rate, it takes you nine years to double your money. And just for fun, let's, like, let's take a look at a 10% interest rate. It's quite high, but uh, let's just go for it. So 72 divided by 10 equals 7.2. So at a 10% interest rate, compound interest, okay, it's 7.2 years it's gonna take you to double your money, all right? And this works for any kind of investment that you could have compound interest in, okay? So it could be stocks with reinvest dividends. If you can work out the overall interest rate that you're getting with div dividends reinvested, then you can use this. Uh, it could be uh, a bank account, you know, a savings account that's got a, you know, an interest rate, although you'll be lucky to get an interest rate above 2% these days, but anyway. Um, but yeah, basically any time of, type of investment, but just be aware that if you are taking the interest out, like let's say it's a property, that's uh, you know cash flowing and you're getting a certain amount of uh, money out of it each month. If you're just spending that money, then it doesn't work. Okay, <laughs> you have to actually be reinvesting that money in something uh, with a, with the same interest rate. All right, so this rule it's actually very very old. It's been around for a long time. We'll just take a look back where it comes from. Um, so basically, the first mention of it um, apparently is from this guy. He's an Italian mathematician who was born in the year 1447. His name is Luca Bartholomew de Pac something like that. Uh, and he wrote this book called Summa di Arithmetica. Ar Arithmetica. Oh man, I mean, look, this, this looks like it would just give me a headache. I mean, oh my God. So basically he thought out the rule of 72 as an easy way to do the math behind uh, working out how long it takes to double your money without having to write down complex equations. And in addition to the rule of 72, the, you may have heard of the rule of 70, the rule of 69.3. There are a few others depending on, you know, if, it, if it's compounding daily, compounding annually, etc. The rule of 72, it's the most common one and it's pretty accurate for interest compounding annually. Um, it does get less accurate as you go above a 10% interest rate though, um, but at typical rates below 10%, which are most rates now <laughs> below 10%, um, it's reasonably accurate as a ballpark figure. All right, guys, please leave your comments below. What do you think of the rule of 72? Has it come in useful for you in appraising investments? Let us know and we will have more business and investment related videos coming out for you shortly. As always, if you're new, please subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.